Paisley. And it is a big shrub of the Appalachian Mountains. The leaf, it's a very inequilateral leaf. What's that mean? It's not symmetrical. You can, right, there's the, not at all. Even the base is inequilateral. Has a wavy margin. I don't want to call them teeth or anything. It's wavy. It's a very crooked leaf. But the bud's probably the funnest and the most interesting thing to look at. If you get the bud oriented the right way, like I have it like that. Okay, we describe this as looking like the deer hoof bud. It looks like a deer hoof. Yeah. Yep. See how this running through the wooden hillside, right? Okay. Deer hoof. It even has the ankle. It's a stalked bud. Remember what a stalked bud is? Yeah, it's on a little stem. Now, this is kind of cool. You know what that, that bud really is? That's a naked bud. That's a folded up tiny leaf. And see that shape right there? Can I watch? No, no, this. That, see that shape? There it is. Shrink it down. Here's the petiole is the stalk. It flowers in the fall. And it looks like yellow spiders. And you'll have them. I don't want to say you're going to have them to the end of the semester. You'll have them for a while. Because certain ones come out a little later than others. But we're about right at the peak of the thing. Sometimes it'll snow and there's snow on the yellow petals. Here is a fruit. It's a little, very hard, woody capsule. Look at all the flowers. <laughs> it's a hard, wooden capsule that when it splits open, that one split. When they split open, it shoots the seeds. Maybe you've seen like biology films where some seeds plant themselves. You ever seen that? They dig into the ground. You ever seen a film like that in class? Mm -hmm. This is one that shoots the seeds. When the fruit goes, <laughs> seeds go shooting out. It kind of spreads. But it's very, if you feel it's very hard, woody, kind of shaped like an urn. They occupy just a couple square feet down there. Tight little clump. And then they, they go out like that in all directions. So they come out of one sort of spot in the ground, suckering, and then they go out. And then the bark gets kind of a blotchy, gray and tan pattern to it. Very, very splotchy looking. Witch hazel. Does anybody know what the... Uh, is what? Yeah, it's uh, it's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like, isn't it like uh, pretty much the same as isopropyl? Yeah, it's a cleanser. In year older days, everybody had a bottle of witch hazel in their medicine cabinet. You had a cut, you'd get it on, acne, uh, aftershave. Uh, they probably even used it as hair tonic. The witch part refers to this was the sought after tree, the branches for water witching where they hold a stick, like a forked stick, and when they get, where they think a well's gonna be, supposedly the stick would go <laughs> down into the ground. And so this was called the witch hazel.